Well, hello, my name is Joshua Houston. I'm the 2017 Livestock Auction Champion, 2022 Mule Day Auctioneer Champion, 2022 Battle of the Bluegrass Reserve Champion, and 2022 Tennessee State Auctioneer Champion. In this series of videos, I want to help you develop your basic chant that you can build on in your auction career. A basic chant is composed of three things, rhythm, speed, and words, usually in the form of your number brackets and filler words, which we'll talk about later. In this segment, I wanna talk about lung work and mouth work, breathing and getting your muscles in your mouth to be responsive to what it is you want to do. So as we do that, we wanna to remember to breathe not from our chest, but from our diaphragm. So when we breathe in, we're gonna take our air to our stomach and we're gonna push out on our stomach as we let the air go up through our vocal cords and shaped by our mouth and shaped by our lips and our tongue. We're gonna to let our mouth do the work and we're gonna let the air flow up and we're gonna let the microphone do the work in increasing volume and projection. So as we do this, one of the best ways to learn how to do lung and diaphragm and mouth work is to incorporate uh, tongue twisters into your daily practice. Two that I'm particularly fond of, one is Betty Botter and the other is Rubber Baby Buggy Bumper. If you're not familiar with these, Betty Botter goes like this. Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. So she bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made the bitter batter better. So tis better, Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. And then Rubber Baby goes like this. Rubber Baby Buggy Bumper. And we're just gonna repeat that over and over again. Now, when we get into tone twisters and learning our auction chant, the first thing young and novice auctioneers want to do is go fast. We're like the Ricky Bobbies of auctioneering. I want to go fast. Speed will come. And as my good friend David Whitaker likes to say, smooth is fast. And he's absolutely right. Smooth is fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Betty Botter first and we're going to say it very slowly. And then the next time we say it, we're going to add rhythm. So it's still going to be slow, but we're going to sing it and then we'll incorporate a little bit more of a metronome style and get it up to that pace where we're not going fast, but we're adding enough rhythm to where the chant will be developed. So let's say Betty bought her through very slowly. Betty bought her, bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. So she bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made the bitter batter better, so tis better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. Very good. Now, what I like to do is grab a microphone and we'll incorporate Betty Botter with a little bit of rhythm. This is going to be our sing song. So when we breathe, we want to take our air in into our stomach, press out using our diaphragm and let the air come up and let our mouth do the work. Well, the Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it'll make my batter bitter. So she bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made the bitter batter better. So this better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. Let's sing it through one more time. And a Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said this butter bitter. If I put it in my batter, it'll make my batter bitter. So she bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made the bitter batter better. So this better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. Very good. Now, we're gonna incorporate some speed in the sense of rhythm. Remember, our goal isn't to be fast, our goal is to be smooth. We're still working on our lungs, working on our mouth, and making sure that we can say Betty Botter through all in one breath. And a Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said the butter better, 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 so she bought a better, 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 made the better, 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 so this better Betty Botter bought a better, better, better. Do it one more time now. And a baby bought her bought some butter, but she had a better bitter, but put it in my batter, it'll make my batter bitter, so she bought a better, better butter, put it in a bitter batter, made the bitter batter better, so she better baby bought her bought a better, better butter. Good job. Now let's do rubber baby. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby buggy bumper. This is going to work your lips and your tongue and not so much of your breath, although it would be a good thing to do to try to get a set number of sequences in one breath. I try to shoot for somewhere between six and 10. So let's add a little bit of rhythm. 
Rail a rubber baby buggy bumper, 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 rubber baby buggy bumper. Now you can tell when I do that, I'm adding a little bit more rhythm and emphasis on the first syllable of rub. It's rubber baby buggy bumper, rubber baby buggy bumper, rubber baby buggy bumper, rubber baby buggy bumper. And you can inflate pitch, go up and down, and it will make it a lot easier when you realize that you're singing it rather than saying it. Now let's add a little bit of speed. Rubber baby buggy bumper, 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 rubber baby buggy bumper. All right, that was 20 times that I said rubber baby buggy bumper. And again, we're not focused too much on going fast, but adding that rhythm and getting our breath to work for us. That's all the tongue twister does. That will lay the foundation on which your number brackets and your speed can rest. In this segment, we're gonna focus on our number brackets. There are several number brackets that every auctioneer should know, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna use the basic number brackets of ones, fives, tens, quarters, halves, and one hundreds. So let's start with our $1 bracket. For this exercise, we will go from one to 10 and back to one in one sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now again, remember that as we do it, we're gonna sing and develop a little bit of rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Practice your one bracket until it is lodged right up here in your mind. Now let's move on to our five dollar bracket. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 9,500. Another thing to do is you can drop the handle and not say 65, you can just say 5, which a lot of auction schools would encourage you to do, and in fact, I would encourage you to do that as well. Oh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, thirty, five, forty, five, fifty, five, sixty, five, seventy, five, eighty, five, ninety, five, hundred, five, 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 five, Keep doing that until it's ingrained in your mind. One number bracket that I failed to mention was the two and a half number bracket. In fact, this might be the most difficult of the number brackets, but it's really not if you can develop that drop in the handle and knowing that two and a half, five, seven and a half, next round number comes in that sequence. Just like all number brackets, this one takes practice. Uh, two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half, fifteen, seven and a half, twenty, two and a half, five, seven and a half, thirty, two and a half, five, seven and a half, forty, two and a half, five, seven and a half, fifty, two and a half, five, seven and a half, sixty, two and a half, five, seven and a half, seventy, two and a half, five, seven and a half, eighty, two and a half, five, seven and a half, ninety, two and a half, five, seven and a half, hundred. Do that over and over and over again, developing your rhythm and your speed and keeping the handle off of your two and a half, five, seven and a half number bracket. Now we need to move on to our quarter bracket. This typically comes when you're doing uh, in your hundred dollar brackets, although you can start with 25, then go to 50, 75, get into your hundreds. And it's especially useful in your cattle sales when you're selling by the pound or by the hundred weight. Well, quarter half, seventy-five one. Quarter half, seventy-five two. Quarter half, seventy-five three. Quarter half, seventy-five four. Quarter half, seventy-five five. Quarter half, seventy-five six. Quarter half, seventy-five seven. Quarter half, seventy-five eight. Quarter half, seventy-five nine. Now again, we're not really focused on developing a, a filler word for these or anything like that. We just want the number bracket ingrained in our mind. 
I highly encourage, although we're not doing it so much in this video, for you to go forward and backwards to develop that number sequence. Now, let's go by halves. Half one, half two, half three, half four, half five, half six, half seven, half eight, half nine. And then you do that over and over and over again until it's ingrained in your mind. Keep practicing these number brackets. I'm sure there are several that I've left out like a 10-15 split and others, but as long as you get your basic number brackets down, that will do, and as long as you know how to count, you will make a fine auctioneer. In this segment, we're gonna work on our basic chant. We're gonna incorporate filler words into our basic number brackets of our $1 brackets going from one to nine. In this, in this basic chant, we're gonna use two different filler words. The first is going to be dollar and now, and then the second is going to be dollar bitter. And eventually we might make it to more advanced and use some different filler words, but for now, we're gonna use our basic chant with our filler word dollar and now. So it's gonna go one dollar, now two, now two, dollar, now three, now three, dollar, now four, now four, dollar, now five, now five, dollar, now six, now six, dollar, now seven, now seven, dollar, now eight, now eight, dollar, now nine. So you see all we're doing is using the words dollar and now. And I think you'll find that when you add a little bit of rhythm, a little bit of speed, that develops a very pleasing auction chant. And in my opinion, someone could very possibly win an auction contest or get a job as a full-time live auctioneer just with using the filler words dollar and now. So let's try it with a little bit of rhythm. Well, one dollar now, two now, two dollar now, three now, three dollar now, four now, four dollar now, five now, five dollar now, six now, six dollar now, seven dollar now, eight now, eight dollar now, nine. One dollar now, two dollar now, three dollar now, four dollar now, five dollar now, six dollar now, seven dollar now, eight dollar now, nine. One dollar now, two now, two dollar now, three now, three dollar now, four now, four dollar now, five now, five dollar now, six now, six dollar now, seven now, seven dollar now, eight now, eight dollar now, nine. You have to make the chant your own, and however you can do that with your version of rhythm and speed will be very beneficial. Now let's add another word. We're gonna add the word bitter, not bid, bitter, B-I-D-D-E-R. And it's gonna come in between the words dollar and now. So we're gonna do one dollar bitter, now two, now two, dollar bitter, now three, now three, dollar bitter, now four, now four, dollar bitter, now five, now five, dollar bitter, now six, now six, dollar bitter, now seven, now seven, dollar bitter, now eight, now eight, dollar bitter, now nine. I would also encourage you that when you go through your basic chant, you extend your hand as if you're asking for the bid. And as I was taught in auction school, don't point. We extend our hand and, and uh, invite the bidders to come to us rather than pointing and singling them out. Although I do understand in a large crowd, it may be beneficial to point the finger or do the cattle auctioneer cattle horns as many of my auctioneer friends like to do. Let's use dollar bidder. One dollar bitter now, two now, two dollar bitter now, three now, three dollar bitter now, four now, four dollar bitter now, five now, five dollar bitter now, six now, six dollar bitter now, seven now, seven dollar bitter now, eight now, eight dollar bitter now, nine. Let's add a little more rhythm. I'm bitter now, one dollar bitter now, two now, two dollar bitter now, three now, three dollar bitter now, four now, four dollar bitter now, five now, five dollar bitter now, six now, six dollar bitter now, seven now, seven dollar bitter now, eight now, eight dollar bitter now, nine. Let's do it again. I'm one dollar bitter now, two now, two dollar bitter now, three now, three dollar bitter now, four now, four dollar bitter now, five now, five dollar bitter now, six now, six dollar bitter now. Guys, if you just do dollar bitter and develop your basic chant, you will have a very rhythmic and very clear chant. Again, we want our numbers to be very clear. Our filler words can be jumbled all we want. We just want those numbers to be crisp and clear so everyone in the audience understands. Let's do one more filler word before we go, and that is the filler word down here. So instead of bitter, we're going to put the word down here in between dollar and now. So we're just going to go like this. One dollar down here, now two, now two, dollar down here, now three, now three, dollar down here, now four, now four, dollar down here, now five, now five, dollar down here. So you see the gist, okay? Let's add a little bit of rhythm. One dollar down here, now two, now two dollar down here, now three, now three dollar down here, now four, now four dollar down here, now five, now five dollar 
dollar down here, down seven, down seven dollar down here, down seven, down seven dollar down here, down eight, down eight dollar down here, down nine. One thing I like to do when practicing a basic chant is mix up my filler words. So in this exercise, we're going to use dollar bitter and dollar down here. We're going to use dollar bitter for our first number, and then we're, our second number, we're going to go to down here, and we're going to go back and forth, dollar bitter, dollar down here. Imagine it this way. When your hand goes up, extending towards the top of what might be your auction stands, you're going to use the word dollar bitter. And when your hand goes down to the bottom of the auction stands, you're going to use the filler phrase down here. Let's give it a shot. Well, one dollar bitter down, two down, two dollar down here, down three down, three dollar bitter down, four down, four dollar down here, down five down, five dollar bitter down, six down, six dollar down here, down seven down, seven dollar bitter down, eight down, eight dollar down here, down nine. One dollar bitter down, two down, two dollar down here, down three down, three dollar bitter down, four down, four dollar down here, down five down, five dollar bitter down, six down, six dollar down here, down seven down, seven dollar down here, down eight down, eight dollar bitter down nine. So there you have it, guys. There are uh, a lot of great components to develop your basic chant. In the next video, we'll talk more about developing that basic chant into pauses, number breaks, and when to sell out. Welcome back. As you can guess, when you're behind the block, not everyone's going to bid according to the same time frame as when you develop your basic chant. It's not always going to be $1 bidder down, $2 down, $2 bidder down, $3 down, $3 bidder. Sometimes you're going to get hung on $2 bidder, and you have to know how to incorporate that and, and how to give them some time and sometimes even break your number bracket in order to develop some competitive bidding. That's what I want to help you do today. How long do you hang on and, how, and when do you drop your numbers? That can be very difficult. Experience will be the best teacher, learning how to read people and say, you know what, this guy's been bidding on these kinds of items all day long. I bet if I went from a $10 bracket to a $5 bracket, he would bid a couple of more times. It all has to do with learning your bidders, and learning your product, and learning how people respond to you. Now, if you're just working on your basic chant, all you have to do is hold on to that number. Keep using your filler words, keep developing your rhythm, but hold on to that number until there's a bid that's advanced. So let's say that we're selling a piece of glassware and we're in our $1 brackets. Say we have $5 bid and we're asking for six, but some but people are stalling out on their bids and they won't give a six. Well, I'm a dollar bidder down, six down, six dollar bidder down, six down, six dollar bidder down, six down, six dollar bidder down, five dollar bidder down, six down, six dollar bidder down, six dollar bidder down, six dollar down here now, six down, six dollar bidder down, five dollar bidder down, six. You see, all we're doing is just repeating our filler word, repeating our numbers over and over again to develop that excitement and encouragement to bid. Now, when do you drop your number bracket? Well, if you're in your one dollar bracket, I would encourage you don't drop uh, at all. There have been times where I've been behind the block selling things like eggs or chickens or small animals that are selling by ones and we do drop to quarters and halves and that can make a difference. But I would encourage you uh, just in normal estate sales and things like that, don't drop below a one and honestly, probably don't drop below a two and a half. But let's say we're selling by tens and we're at $50 asking for 60 and we see someone who's been bidding all the way from 10 to 50, and we know that they would probably bid one more time, and so now we're going to break it in half. We're going to cut our number bracket and ask for 55 instead of 60. When we do that, we want to do what I like to call punching the number. We want to wake our audience up because they're used to our number bracket, and if we don't do that, then they're not going to catch what we're trying to do. So we're going to add a little bit more emphasis on that 55, particularly the five part at, uh, at the end, and then we're gonna punch it, and then we're, after we punch it, we're gonna roll with a filler word and keep asking for 55 until we get it. Let's try something like this. Yeah, I bid it up fifty dollar, bid another a fifty dollar down, fifty to fifty to fifty dollar, bid another a fifty dollar down. Stay, I bid it a sixty dollar, bid another a sixty dollar, bid another a fifty five, and now hook up another a five, fifty five, bid another a now sixty, I bid another a sixty dollar down. You see how I punched the five? I punched the five, and now hook up another a 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 five, and then roll with your filler word, add some excitement, give them some time to respond. They'll usually bid, and then you can keep moving. So let's take an item. Let's say this mirror behind me, and let's sell it at live public auction 
We'll start at two and a half and we'll go to 100. We will change our increments, our number bracket increments, and we will uh, probably uh, use our basic chant to begin and then make it our own. All right, let's see how that sounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, lot number 21 is going to be this full-length mirror. It's blue in color and shined up. Boys, look at here. What are you talking about? Yeah, there. Don't know. Here, not two and a half. I'm not two and a half. I'm not two and a half. Thank you. I'm not two and a half. 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 Where? Be a ten dollar down. I'm not two and a half. 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 I'm not two and a